G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to episode number 19 of season 1 of the Real Madrid career mode series. We have a huge episode coming up, so if you do go in to enjoy it, make sure that you leave a like. But let's jump into it. The first matchup of today's episode is at home in La Liga. We are taking on Athletic Bilbao. They are, we're, we're having a decent season, they are not. Bilbao are a decent side, but we are sitting in first possession, nine points clear with two games in hand, so three points here would go a long way in seeing us secure the title nice and early. This is the lineup we are rocking with, however. Lacazette up front, uh, Bale out wide, Pogba, it's a pretty strong side, so it should get the job done. This is Athletic Bilbao's lineup, however. Pretty decent side, if I'm being fair. Uh, Adjuris, Benart, some very good players. However, we start things off here in the 18th minute. Kovacic to Modric. Lacazette on the ball up against the defender there. Pacing through them, dribbling past them. He hits it, and Lacazette's shot goes off the post. Very unlucky there to not give us the 1-0 lead. But Lacazette with another opportunity. Manhandles that defender, but unfortunately gets tackled. We continue attacking, though. Sergio Ramos almost curling that one into the bottom left-hand corner. If he scored that, I would have gone absolutely insane. But Lacazette turning that defender. He is having a blinder of a game, and he gets a well-deserved goal here just after the half time break. A fantastic finish and the Frenchman Alexandre Lacazette gives us the 1-0 advantage. We continue to attack Bilbao. We have dominated them. Lacazette to Kovacic. Kovacic getting past that defender. Having the strike but that is a fantastic save there to keep Kovacic out of the goals. We are attacking once again looking for another goal which will secure all three points. Modric through to Lacazette. Lacazette hits it. Lacazette scores the goal. And Lacazette does give us a 2-0 advantage in this La Liga match. But Athletic Bilbao, they still want to get a goal back. They want to have a sniff in this game. Their shot, however, does miss the post by a country mile. And we have one final opportunity here as Sherry Shev to Luka Modric. He gets past the defender. Pass now to Lacazette. A first-time ball to Paul Pogba. Paul Pogba hitting that one. A good save there, which cannons off the crossbar. It does not matter, however, as we do go on and we do defeat Athletic Bilbao 2-0 at home in La Liga to get three more valuable competition points, which is absolutely fantastic stuff. We are going to do training once again, hoping to grow these players for the end of this season. B's, D's, and C's all around the shop, which isn't too good. But Rafael Varane does go up to an 85 rating, which is fantastic. And take a look at that, lads. The quarterfinals of the Champions League. We have one of the hardest sides. We are taking on Barcelona. And we do have Barcelona here in La Liga. So we're going to have Barcelona twice in today's episode. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Insane stuff. And Barcelona, they are not having an insane season. They are having an insanely bad season for their standards. Sitting in fifth position. And at this rate, they might not even qualify for the Champions League next season. Which is absolutely insane. We want to continue to provide them with some hurt. We are rocking with... A slightly weaker side as I want to rest a lot of the big name players for the next game against Barcelona in the Champions League because we've basically got La Liga wrapped up. So my main focus now is to go on and get the treble. So if we get beat Barcelona in the Champions League, that would just be fantastic. And I'd be confident that we could go the whole way in the, tor in the tournament. But anyways, in El Clasico here, it is Iniesta on the ball. He is passing that one back to Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba running into the center of the field, having that strike, good save from David De Gea, but what a finish from Lionel Messi, one of the world's best players, arguably, gets a fantastic goal there, and gives Barcelona the 1-0 advantage, not what we wanted at all, but as we move into the second half, William Carvalho passing that one to Benzema, Benzema through to Casemiro, he has the dig, missing that one to the right-hand side, and we continue to apply some pressure on Barcelona, looking for a well-deserved equaliser, Benzema getting tackled from Rakitic, he wins it back though, Benzema has it, good save there from Claudio Bravo, the Chilean goalkeeper keeping it at a 1-0 scoreline, but we continue to press, looking for that equaliser, Vazquez squaring it to Casemiro, Casemiro cuts around 
uh, freaking whoever that was, Busquets could have been. He does miss, so it does not matter. But only two minutes later, Suarez to Busquets. Suarez back to Sergio Busquets. He's one on one. Gets taken down in the box by Varane. Very soft penalty. Suarez saved by David Hayer. What a penalty save. Guessing the right way and keeping us with a sniff in this game. Fantastic stuff. We are attacking. We are now full of confidence and are confident that we can get this goal back. Benzema hits it. Benzema scores. And Benzema gives us a one-all scoreline. We are back in this El Clasico match against Barcelona. Fantastic. Can we get a late winner? William Carvalho through to Jesse Rodriguez. He hits it straight up. Bravo. Carvalho hits it. But another fantastic save from Claudio Bravo. And unfortunately, we do go on and only pick up a draw in the El Clasico at Camp Nou against Barcelona. Still a fantastic result. Very, very pleased with the lads. And we, we didn't have a full-strength squad, so that was decent. C's and D's all around the shop in this training session. And since it is the start of a new month, we are going to provide you guys with a squad report. You guys ask for it. So why not show some very big improvements in the squad, uh, specifically Abner, who I have been training a fair bit. He has gone up plus four. A lot of the younger guys growing a lot, which is definitely expected. Jesse Rodriguez up by three, as you would have just seen. Ronaldo's even growing, which is fantastic. I remember at the start of the season, I could not play with Ronaldo for crack, but he has just become a lot better as the season has gone on, which is fantastic stuff. Gareth Bale going up by two, and then there is some of our lone players. Erdegaard not growing. The final matchup of today's episode is the first leg of the Champions League quarterfinals. We are taking on Barcelona, of course. This is the home leg at the Santiago Bernabeu. As you can see, Chelsea did defeat Bayern Munich 2-1 and Man City defeated Zenit St. Petersburg 1-0. So, looks like the English clubs are actually doing decently in the Champions League for once. Bit of a surprise there. But anyways, this is the Barcelona lineup. Have to watch out for MSN, Messi, Suarez, Neymar. Uh, Messi playing in his normal right wing position. Anyways, as we push on here... Five minutes into it, Danny Alves through to Roberto. Roberto to Sergio Busquets. Rafinha trying to get past his fellow Brazilian. He passed it to Busquets. Suarez hits it. Good save there from David De Gea. Keeping this game at a nil all scoreline. But only two minutes later, Cristiano Ronaldo to Lacazette. Lacazette running. Chipping that one over the top to Paul Pogba. He brings it down on the chest. He hits it. What a save from Claudio Bravo. Thought for sure that we were going to have the one nil lead there. But that is a fantastic save. Cristiano. Ronaldo running through, playing that one to James Rodriguez. James Rodriguez, one on one, Bravo. James Rodriguez saved again. Another fantastic save from Claudio Bravo. We could easily have two goals under our belt in this game, but Bravo having a blinder. A poor pass there sees us intercepted in the second half. Paul Pogba lining that one up. Another save from Bravo. A bit easier than the other opportunities, but still a decent save. And we just continue to apply the pressure to Barcelona, continuing the attack. Lacazette to James Rodriguez. He gets through, playing into Lacazette. Lacazette hits it, but another save from Claudio Bravo. I swear to God, we are just so unlucky in this matchup. Absolute bullshit. But Cristiano Ronaldo running up the wing here, 70 minutes into it, doing a little bit skilly, tricky. You got to pay this, pay the, do the skills to pay the bills. I don't even know what I'm bloody talking about. But Paul Pogba hits that one at Bravo. It has been all us in this game. We have dominated Barcelona. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to show for it, but there is still time. Marcelo, through ball to Lacazette. What a ball that is. What a run. Lacazette hits it. Lacazette finally breaks the mark. We are 1-0 up against Barcelona. 90 minutes into this game. We have a, a one goal advantage in this leg, and we will now have to try defending that in the second leg at the Camp Nou against Barcelona. What a fantastic result that is. Get in there, fellas. A 1-0 victory over Barcelona. Wrapping up today's episode, there are the rest of the quarterfinals results. If we do get through, I am interested to see who we do get. But anyways, fellas, if you enjoyed today's episode of the Real Madrid Career Mode series, make sure that you leave a like on the video. That would really help me out. Make sure that you do subscribe if you are new around here. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links, as per usual, will be in the description down below. But most importantly, fellas, I hope you have a fantastic Sunday. It has been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.